The Ghana Health Service announced that there was a need to pull it down after a report indicated that the five-story facility had developed gaping cracks and so it was not fit for purpose and needed to be pulled down uh, to make way for the construction of an ultra modding facility. Now flooding was also another major reason why there was a need to reconstruct the La General Hospital and we're told that it was supposed to be constructed to the standards of the Greater Accra Regional Hospital and of course to meet the foreign standards as well. And so sometime March uh, 2020 it was pulled down and then in August 2020 the president came here and cut sword for the construction of this facility. It was supposed to be a 160 bed facility uh, at a tune of 68 million euros and this was a credit facility from Standard Chartered Bank in the UK. And if it was completed it would have a surgical unit with four wards, a neonatal department, children's ward, a labor department and a number of other facilities. An ultra modern OPD and the like to serve these community members. It's been a year and eight months and we've not seen much. At least I see a little bit of construction at the back there which community members have told us uh, you know they were informed would start in January this year and so that's what we're seeing there but they're not even sure what exactly is happening. Now the health minister did speak on June uh, 2, 2021 and he explained why there was a delay in the construction. He said that uh, the constructors who are Chinese by the way is a Chinese company said they needed some insurance cover and that had delayed due to the guarantor's delay of course but aside that they also wanted some more work to be done on the ground before construction. This is a 10 key uh, project and that basically means that the constructor is uh, you know responsible for design all the way to construction and uh, you know making sure that it is fit for purpose and then they'll hand over to the Ghanaian government. Nothing really is happening and so we've come here to speak to community members to find out what really this does to them. There's a young man here and uh, he will speak to us first before we even speak to more community members who are already complaining that their businesses have been destroyed and they have to travel, uh, you know, farther down the road to uh, access healthcare, and that's a big problem for them. Hello, good morning. Happy New Year. Please come closer. Thank you so much for speaking to us. What's your name? I'm Lawrence Agbeshi. Lawrence, you live in this community? I live in this community, yeah. Okay. Now tell me, because it's been a year and eight months since this building was pulled down. We were told it would be ready in 24 months when the president cuts out. Nothing has happened. Yeah, nothing has happened. And due to that, people have to go a long way to police hospital or LECMA to, at, to attend health care. And due to that, people lost their life because first the hospital was here. So when something happened, people were able to come here. Yeah. This hospital used to serve people around those two, Labadi, Teshin, Nunga, and Co. But that now people have to go a long way yeah. to, to attend to health care. And it's, it's very difficult. Mm. And due to that, it's very difficult for people to attend the okay. Have you been given reasons why this has delayed? Because I remember that again, when the government officials came, they promised that it would be ready in about 24 months. Uh, normally, they only tell us they'll do it, they'll do it, they'll do it. But we have waited, but nothing is going on. All the, all the, all the, all the time, you see people coming to the site and going. People come and go, people come and go. There's some men there, though. I mean, we were told, and, and of course, one of the grandmothers that we'll be speaking to, and she's been here since the 60s, and so she gave us a bit of history. We'll speak to her again so she can enlighten you on that. But she said they mentioned to her and a few other committee members that work will start in January this year, which is why maybe there are those men on the field. Yeah, okay. So we are, we are waiting. We are waiting. waiting. Yeah. Well, how does, has this impacted your life? Did you used to do business in this community at all? I used to do business, okay. but normally this way we attend hospital. Mm -hmm. So we see that we are, we are like, we find difficult. We have to use, we have to take a car a long way to attend hospital. And it's very difficult for us. So we want the, the government to do something about it. Mm. They should build it quick so that we can, we can have health, access to health care. Okay. Yeah. And there are people who used to run businesses here. They used to sell, you know, water, food for all the people who used to come here. I don't see them anymore, clearly, because there's no hospital to serve the people. But how are they also finding this? So, so... I would like you to talk to them. So that okay. Be, yeah. okay. Let's go speak to, we'll, we'll speak to some of the traders shortly. I have a gentleman here that I would like to speak to shortly before we move on. Hello, sir. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Your name, please? My name is Ni Akuhusna. Okay. Yeah. You live in this community? I live here. Just down the road, I believe? Yeah. Okay. Now, how do you also feel about the fact that, you know, we're told this hospital will be up and running in 24 months. And so I did leave the president cut sword in August. By August, we should have seen the completion of this project and nothing has happened. Actually, we miss the, 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 the actual structure here. Mm. It's, it's an edifice that all of us talk about. You know, when you talk about La, we have a general hospital. First, it was a polyclinic. Yeah. It came to be a general hospital. Was everything 
is here that everybody so many people were born here mm -hmm. actually and people come from uh, subordinates I think from Teshi, Nungwa, Tema and wherever mostly comes here is actually a disappointment to some of us because uh, we were told it's going to be constructed within the 12 solid months and that is all we know and we've passed 12 months so actually people are suffering mm -hmm. honestly speaking you ask yourself if you live within this community and maybe I don't there's something happening where are you going you see it has put pressure on police hospital, 37 and the ridge. You see, we have moved this place to a very small place in town. Mm -hmm. Whilst they don't work 24 hours. Actually, oh, they don't work 24 hours in the they community? Don't, they, don't, they don't work 24 hours. Wow. And actually, when you get there later in the evening, you miss nobody. Wow. Okay, so what is happening there is too bad. And to the extent that people, when you ask them, you are sending them to that place, they will tell you no, they would rather stay home. Where is this place, by the way? It's in a town called La Mansamope Yard. You see, it was a yard which is a, a radio station, okay? And they are using part of it to do a clinic. Wow. You can imagine what is happening there. Mm -hmm. You understand? So sometimes when people are talking, it comes to be like you want to chastise the government. But actually, we have to be citizens, mm -hmm. not spectators. That's the reason why some of us mostly talk about this. Honestly speaking, because you have to think about yourself, your family, and friends and sympathizers who live around our community. Sometimes when this happens, it becomes an issue that we keep on complaining. But you cannot complain. Where are you going to complain? Unless we have people like you who are in media, who mostly will send our message across board. We beg, honestly speaking. It is our own. Okay, you see, our f former president of the United States of America, Obama, donates here donate here and an edifice were built here okay we could have used that particular structure how many years now in the midst we have a mock tree here where is it now you understand the pressure putting on people here is too bad honestly so you think that they should have maintained some of the buildings that were not too dilapidated and pulled down the five-story structure because that one we're told there were cracks in it so it was not fit for purpose and it could have collapsed at any point in time which is why they pulled it down yeah yeah when you have when you, when you live in the house with appearance okay and you have cracks in the house and your parents collapse the whole place ask you to go nowhere what will you do as a as a kid in the house okay we are frustrated honestly speaking because those structures can be used even the more can be used you understand there are so many the, the opd can be used but, but how do you know all those can be used because again it was a report from the ghana health service and maybe they found it wise to pull down the entire structure on the land and reconstruct i don't know whether the uh, is, you mean the Ghana Health Service? Mm -hmm. Okay, are they are they engineers? You see, when I was told, maybe AMC, maybe people consultants came in here and just look at the place and consult the people living in La. You see, we are stakeholders of the place. We should be told what is going to happen. We saw something happening in Ridge Hospital. Honestly speaking, what happens there? All of us know the structure is there. They build a new one. You see, they start working, renovating the other one. And that is how we progress in the third world country like Ghana. Okay. You understand? It is not a place whereby you are building a village. This is a, a, a town that people live in. There are community here. You understand? So when you are moving it from here, you should know what is good. The implications. Some of us, for it was a deliberate thing. But honestly speaking, we have no doubt that when we are citizens and we keep on talking, the government will come back to its own mind because we thought maybe they're having challenges. Yeah. But where, what were you thinking by then? You see, the response sometimes they give us is too bad. Honestly speaking, telling that they are staring the, the ground, they want to know the structures they are going to put in here and to see because it's closer to the sea. Ah, you don't need to put this into contention before you come and promise us in 12 months or you want to tell us something just like that for us to accept what is going to happen. This is our concern. Okay. You understand? We should be told, if you knew it's not coming, you will not be thinking about it. But when you are promised, this is where promise and fear can do. Well, the health minister says that even though all those assessments have been done, once construction starts, it will be non-stop and they'll make sure to complete it on time to hand over to community, to the community. It's all on top of issues because he went to parliament, the time he was vetting, he says that the construction is going on. You understand? So whatever he says is not true. He don't know anything about it. Honestly speaking, he's, if, a, he's the leader of the ministry. You're saying he doesn't know anything. He doesn't know anything about construction. Maybe he knows how to give injections. But he knows anything about construction. He can never say the construction is going on whilst it's not going on. You understand? He has lied to Ghanaians and you have to come back to apologize. You understand? We living in La having a problem. It is not about the people living next door to the hospital. People come from far. 
You understand? So everybody is in, uh, have an issue about this. We are concerned about what is happening here. There are people who live in Teshi. This is a the place they normally come. They have their own special doctors here. That takes care of them. You understand? People living in Osu comes here. We have people who live in Burma come, come here. We have people who live in Cantonment, Nungwa, and, and the subordinate. So, so many people normally come here. The issue we face here, honestly, is severe. Nowadays, when something is happening, you don't know where to go. You keep on lamenting, where am I taking my kid? Where am I taking my mom? Where am I taking my family to? And that is a concern of we are people. Thank you so much for speaking to us. And we do hope that government is paying attention and will pay. For you taking your time to come in here. We appreciate everybody. And we believe what we are doing here, our people living here, our leaders are listening and they are seeing what is going on. They don't wake up and act. That's what we want. And we want the government to respond to our call. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. And by the way, I just wanted you to, thank you, sir. Uh, I mean, I've seen a few workers uh, pushing a wheelbarrow to the other side. I see what looks to be an Asian um, man also, probably from the company. I don't know if they would want to speak to us. Hello, sir. Hello. Can we speak to you? Can we speak to you? Okay. So, all right. Thank you. Well, he says no. Uh, maybe, of course, he would not be the one to speak to us. I was just trying my luck to see if we'll be able to. I have a few people who are also lined up. Maybe we should cross the street. And these are our residents, by the way. They are willing to speak to us. And initially, this street uh, was strewn with traders who are selling all kinds of items, of course, to serve uh, the community who would come here for some health care. Uh, I'm speaking to one of them. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, madam. Please, what's your name? My name is Mary Sidona, area mama. Area mama. I can see from your haircuts that you are the area mama. How long have you been living in this community? Uh, about 30, 35 years ago. 35? Yes. So that means that you have been a constant uh, user of the La General Hospital? Yes, madam. So how did you feel when they said they had to pull it down? I am not happy. You, you can speak guy if you want. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, fine. Eh, me. I can't. I Ye be kuku mi. I'm a bad jeshi. She. I can't. You. 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 I can't. Kaka. No. Kwa. Bone. Ken. I can't. I'm a fitele. Sani. I jeshi. She. Blewu. I bon. Kumo. Blewu. Ni. I'm a bi. I can't. Be. Na. Kaka. Fe. Ton. Bone. Afe. Rich. Hospital. Ni. Me. Ne. Wafe. Wona. Ya. Gana. She. Ne. A. Te. She. She. Kome. Keke. Na. A. Kumo. A. Shwe. She. Kabata. Bi. Ano. Almost. Five years. Five years, five years, two years. Why are now she no ne wa na kumo a cashin about fair assessments na na cashin um you know cracks e batu jiami e wa le no kenya jenny kumo cashin no no ba face sani no jin on yewana Ofane bonu oyu olele na kan shi akeni ni e shika besh ko mi e mi emi hi on ya ka je akumo eni clerk e ko en na asa ka je je en keka cha no ken ya bi e ton olele wo menu menu wo wo ojira e bi e polyclinic e fe wo nya wo wo ojira wo nuku 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 e ya no wo mami me ta shi ho mo je ame nuku 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 kure ya no ke mo ko be wa les ja o ka le wo taxi mi ke te police hospital or rich hospital ni la polyclinic two bedroom self for no jila polyclinic in Akayawo. It will be me, she be an ekura. So, so what she's saying is that she would have preferred if the same process used in completing the Greater Accra Regional Hospital was replicated here, such that they would pull down some of the structures and leave a few of them so that they can use that uh, for the time being until the new one is constructed. Then they can move into that and have this constructed because it's affected the traders, it's affected community members, and you have to put them in a taxi and travel all the way to the police hospital or to all the other hospitals. To uh, Greater Accra just to seek treatment. Okay, no me on horn near beer. No me and mammy by horn near beer. Okay, unit committee member Jimmy area name me. She because of that, you can make a share come and bind little on my cami. Then I may be me a shanker, ten be a no ten. She could not be a name, one you hate, one MP and ye, one assembly man, she won't now no conoco nanya me, one now no conoco. Not Kenya, I care a delay construction. Bay and Shaka can ye by you. I care about cut sorts, ye be a waffle. Wa ba do moshi na kati sote na kaba je nuchu moshi shi ni ili ake shika ni ake akaba moshi kaka ni efiko ready no ha na ba je kunuchu moshi shi wanyue he wanyue he eko pole ncha wanyue he MP eko me wia ke agbena eshwe fio na ba agbena ni lele no kono kobe shikono bi ane eshwe fio ba chwa bolu e pake no abo ncha omomo abo ba je shi shi mi organize na ba na ba chwa yaje ni ba aloki gate onyo organize bi government property sana ma hospital. 
ba mi won pa bo fai bo ni akenye ba do mo si mene ne nye yu aye nye ha wo se nya wo wo ye nbe e ka chu mi wo nye wo ka ma ya eko eko no fi ano yin kura ye bi e o fa ne o yu wa do o yu wa do e won so le hu akenye ba fe no ko ye and so she's just basically saying uh that you know her mother used to trade here and there were lots of traders you know along the street who were serving the hospital staff and people who visited the hospital unfortunately they all had to uh you know stop trading because people weren't coming here anymore clearly because there's no hospital and now they are stuck in their rooms hungry and looking for another means to survive now they've been transferred to another uh, clinic in the lamami and that's the township itself and she's saying that that's just a two bedroom facility which cannot serve the thousands of people who live in this community and the other communities who usually would visit this place so it's a major problem and in in fact, a government does not do anything about this and does not start attraction. She's going to organize because she's a unit committee member. She'll organize for the boys to start playing football on the park just to show how serious they are about the situation. So I have my namesake here, Grandma Isabella. Uh, if I could just get a chair, please, so I can sit by her. Grandma, Afi or Afi? Afi na apro. Afi sebe nene. Intashi neko no no ba nena mi. Nino ma awo no gojo ebo awi. How many years now? Oh, no, no, I'm 78. Wow. No, no, she before me. Well, Papa never about 20, 21, me now about. Come on. 2020. 2020. 2020, March. March, I mean, I'm about to come on in. Oh, now about, when I'm about to cut the can if it go within 14 days, I will start building it. She up to now, or now go improvement, go cry a bit. Eh, eh, ne, na, ne, be ni hospital, ma, she, no, me, wo, na, no, wo, wo, ho, ni, wo, na, no, ko, wo, yo. She up to now, ne, le, na, ji, ne, no, fe, no, fe, ba, sa, e, ha, wo. No, fe, no, me, mi, no, ho. In fe, provision shop, ye, store, ne, eh, eh. Okay. Wo, ka, bi, ane, ni, gbe, le, o, ba, na, ke, she, o. Many and nothing. Oh, yes. I mean, let me just translate what she said. Um, this is Grandma Isabella, by the way. She's above 70 years, and she said she's lived here for many years. And in fact, in 2020, when the structure was pulled down and the sword was cut, uh, she said they were promised that within 14 days, construction will begin. And 14 days passed, and nothing really happened. Now, she used to sell provisions. She had a store here, and she was serving the people who were, uh, you know, visiting the hospital. Unfortunately, all that has gone down the drain because she cannot sell them anymore. She does not have the buyers. And so it's been a major problem for her. Uh, she, in a show, she, oh, no, I can only hear what I come on building a jack. She no mere cracks go by me. It was a cake and you take them a little no. On a can mean no, who ya to jam me. I lay no care, no, come on, baby. No, no, can't tie me. Jenny, care if a crack moon, I mean, fee, she a can. Any be dear, ma, no, me, you are all the acac and again. She jenny no go home. Ona <laughs> Dana Kumo, I mean, as it's a people you are going here. A honey, Jamie, a care harm, a corner, make a patient feel feel. Cashi Binny, a bacumo, and a tampo. She, I mean, I can.
Well, well, Biana, well, what she's saying is that uh, a few years ago when former president of the United States, Barack Obama, visited Ghana, he visited this facility. She was here, she met him, and he provided some amount of money to construct, um, you know, a part of the, the building. And so that was fairly new, and she would have thought that government would have maintained that structure. So they visit the doctors and the nurses there in the meantime while the other structure is constructed. But none of that happened. It will be an account. No confable, I don't know. No confable, no what a police hospital, I be a ink bear with your cock or jay area name. I back a boy, I can see many honey in your heart. Come, I quail, but I refer to a cook hospital. Ah, well, well, let the reason why I call Jella, I quail. Oh, no, I back a walk all our polyclinic side there. I dare, I mean, quail. No, me, me hospital, ne? police hospital. Oh, no, but then shot a gem and I'm a fable. No water, ko na kan na bile ni yo inside ni hone. No me be yo ale wa water. Ame ka ame kwe. Wakpa ame fa wakay. Oh, no ni fi yok beke ne wa nyenta ne go. Inka kwa kwa wa yuya ahun. Da ni mo ni fi yok ka de. Ya na doktor ko mi. Ne eke o ene emergency no ko yo wakay wakpa fa. Da na ahano wate ni tepo mi. Inta shi ye che no ne ken ken bile na bile. E mami wete ya afika de. Ne kano na abana akwele. E kano na ake drip ni ne mashi. Chue na hale drip ni kumbike kano. Wana asa. Wana asa. Jame e fi crowded. Ona. E wana niye ya huntu. Ona. All right. Uh, anyway, so what she's saying is that they also face some challenges when they visit other facilities, especially when they ask where they are from. Um, her, her grandchild had to go to the police hospital for treatment, and for some reason, they said they could not treat the child until they begged. And so she had to carry her child whilst the drip was being administered. And so that's a major problem for them. It will be an amekame ba boy. Ame boy in nani me kome chuni. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeme na brofon yo kome ke me di jin kome ni. Ame chi will ba ni. Eh, sister na ka no ba. Chani si bi ne ba bi no ba na ba ke o boni. No, Kaka not a care, make me okay, but I can scare one me, did daddy. I may babble. Oh, well, no name, I mean, yeah, Jimmy. I ban a canon, I may. Well, she says that, I mean, she's had a number of reasons why they've not started the construction. And so she's waiting to see, I mean, how this goes. She, in the meantime, I mean, no back a woman, Nupa, President Kufuado, care health minister, care minister, and I'm a true. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, me, well, oh, no, I bought it. Ne, ne, what I just, I need a week in me, I'll quack on our babble, so am I, she won't pee. No, I mean, I'm saying, no more here, I'm a drummer, I'm going to make a home with me, I'm a homiska. Down a book, I'm going to be no, being by a bahamu. Don't work on a lonely, you're being a fair, I want to. Oh, won't profile. I'm back on our budget, I'm going to be a home, 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 Afternoon, I'm about to buy. Can she be now? Bar thin in Nata. Can't be now. Bar deposit you could done in it. She no, 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 Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Grandma. And well, we hope that, um, you know, the I catch an hour bomber. Mm. Well, well, just a point of correction then. So that construction, by the way, wasn't by former President Barack Obama. It was by uh, the former MP in the La area, and that is Honorable Vincent Odote Soa. But Grandma, thank you. Well, so thank you so thank you. well we're still talking to more people, and I have a, a gentleman that I'll be speaking to now. Hello, sir. Good morning. L let's get off the road just in case a vehicle is approaching, so we don't... Yes. Happy New Year. Many happy things. You live in this community too? I was born here. You were born here. So that means that you've seen the beginning you're, uh, of, of the La General Hospital up until the time it was pulled down. Sure, sure. I mean, how has this impacted this community since it was pulled down? I think negative is uh, too mild. Mm. Negative is too mild. I mean, the whole community is dead because of this um, demolition. Mm. Yes. Why do you say dead? I mean, I still see people still doing their business at least. A few of them. Look, um, when the hospital was here, um, 
like you have people who are selling food, mm -hmm. taxi operators, I mean a whole lot. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But all that is gone. Yes, but all that is gone. Don't you think it was a good idea that they pulled down the structure, especially because of the report's findings? Well, you see, um, if, if a, a building has structural defects, mm. I mean, engineers will always do something about it. Mm. Uh -huh. Unless, of course, like you have funds available to build something quickly mm -hmm. in record time. Mm -hmm. But once you don't have that kind of funds, I mean, you do what you can do to hold the building for some time. And also a hospital that is serving a whole community like this, you know, because once this thing is not here, pressure is on a police hospital, mm -hmm. because that's the closest um, government facility around here. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, then you have to go to the regional hospital um, at Ridge. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, I mean, we are, we, we are really, really left in a limbo. Well, a 68 million euro credit facility was being uh, sourced from Standard Chartered Bank in the UK, which was going to be used to, be, uh, to construct this building. But we're told by the health minister that the reason it delayed was because the people, the company that's constructing needed an insurance cover, and the guarantor was delaying with that. And also a lot more work was supposed to be done on the field before construction begins. That is why it delayed. He said this in Parliament in June last year. And so if all these things were not in place, why pull down the building? Because if, if you have to pull down the building, you have to uh, provide an utility for the people. Mm. So once all these things were not in place, I mean, why? It means that somebody was not planning, that somebody was not doing his job. Mm. I mean, it's just a, a, a kind of gimmick. You're toying with the people's lives. Mm. So just get up and then do whatever you want to do without consideration for the people, the impact on the people. Mm. Huh. Because you have to put everything in place. You know that, oh, you move from one step to the other to the other. But if all these things are not in place, then you have, you have failed. Yes, you have failed. Completely. I mean, they've said that they're going to start the construction soon, and once they hit the ground run, and that's it, non-stop, we're years, going to see... Two years running. Mm. Now, let me tell you something. The building was pulled down mm -hmm. before they even held a stakeholder conference, uh, meeting in the area. Is it? Yes. But I thought they announced to the community members before March the 1. The building was pulled down before a community stakeholder meeting was held. When was this stakeholder meeting held? Do you remember? I can't remember the exact date, okay. but the building was pulled down before then. Okay. Now, when the third cutting ceremony was held, mm -hmm. you know, we saw these uh, 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 graphic impressions, uh, you know, on the, on the wall. Yeah. Now, after that, then we saw some team around the, build, the yard mm -hmm. uh, doing a soil testing and something like that. Mm -hmm. So it's like, ah, if you, 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 you are now doing soil testing, I mean, how did you design the building? Hmm. That's interesting. Now, this meeting that was held with the committee members, I'm sure you were there. Who and who from, you know, governments were there to speak to you and to deliberate on this matter? No, um, it, was, it was a handful of guys. Uh, one person said he was from the engineering firm that okay. uh, was going to do the construction and stuff. So they just wanted to know, uh, uh, you know, how if, uh, so it was. No MC, no MP, none of those? Nothing. nothing. So at least explain to you why there was a need to N do that. Nothing, nothing. It's a new year. I mean, what do you say to governments? Because we're hoping that this will be constructed. We're told that this has now turned into a football park. Government has the sole responsibility of providing health care for the people. Mm. And so if you have to pull down a facility like this, I mean, what message are you sending to the people? Mm. The people within the catchment area, if you have to pull down a facility like this, and two years on, nothing to show for it, mm. what message are you telling the people? That they can die? But government is investing in Agenda 111. They are hoping to build district hospitals and some regional hospitals. Maybe, maybe the next time we'll hit Agenda 181. Why do you say 181? It was, I mean, it was 88 mm -hmm. and it's 111. So yes. it, it will go to 181. I mean, they have said that work has started in some cases and they're hoping to complete. So why not this one? Mm. Is this not a priority? Okay. If this is not a priority, then, I mean, <laughs> I, I don't see... It what, is a priority. It is not. It is. Two years... Priority project, mm. two years, and I mean, if, 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 you, if you take a peep, how many, what can you see in the yard? Well, currently I see some men on the field. I see a man in a construction cap. Uh, they refuse to talk to us, by the way. I don't know if they have informed the community about what they are doing currently, if you know what's happening. You see, um, with the kind of, uh, with, the, with the kind of uh, design we have over there, I don't, think that the, the men in there, uh, 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 it's, it's what we need to do the job. Mm. Yes. You don't think the men in there are what we need to do the job? Why do you say so? 
By now, the, the, the level of activity should be more than what is happening there now. But sir, you, are you an engineer? I'm telling you that the level of activity should be more. Yes, but I'm than asking if you're an, an engineer because maybe they know what they're doing, which is why they have those number of men there at the moment. The men should have been more. The activity level should have been more okay. than what they are doing there now. Have they told you what exactly they started with? You don't need to tell them. They won't tell you anything. So they won't. They, have they, you tried oh, questioning? They will not speak to you. Okay. Because if they speak to you, I mean, their jobs are, is on the line. So they will not speak to you. Okay. I think you try to talk to them. Mm. And did they? Uh -huh. they will speak to you. Let's get this right, because there was a building here that Grandma says, you know, there was some money given by former President Barack Obama for. We're getting two sides of it as to whether it was Honorable Vincent Odote or it was Barack Obama. I need to, since you've been here for that long, just put that across for us. The well, correct fact. yeah, there was, there was a facility uh, built just around here. Yeah. Uh -huh. And um, what we know was that um, when uh, President uh, Obama came to Ghana, yes, yeah, he made some donation for the uh, building to be constructed. And so that was done. So prior to that, there was no building here? There was no building here. What so was that uh, purpose? What was the purpose of this building that was put up? Well, um, I can't, I can't okay. recall it, uh, exactly what but it was for. But you were also for. accessing this healthcare facility? Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. You know, when it was a polyclinic and then was upgraded to the general hospital, mm -hmm. some other uh, departments, specialized departments were added, like gyne and co, and then the morgue was added. So it was providing a whole lot of services around here. Uh -huh. So, I mean, to just get up one day and it's like, oh, the building has developed uh, structural defects, and so you're going to pull it down. Sure, fine, if you want to do something new, we are happy. But then, two years on and nothing to show for it. Meanwhile, it was reported in parliament that work was around 90% or something. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you are taking us for a ride. Okay. Be serious for once. Okay. Sure. Thank you so much, sir, for speaking to us. Thank you. And the weather is changing. It looks like it's about to rain. Uh, but these are people who are very much concerned about the state of health care in their community. And they are asking government to be serious at this point for once and construct and complete this facility so they won't have to travel, um, you know, kilometers away from the community to seek health care and be turned away, which is what Grandma also complained about. This is about the La General Hospital. And we've been told that construction uh, should start this month. Uh, we've seen some men there. We're hoping that at least whatever delayed the beginning of the construction has been completed now and work has indeed started. We'll speak to government authorities as well to also apprise us on what they are doing at the moment to ensure that this comes to fruition. And who knows, we'll visit here again another time for some more. But this is TV3 New Day. My name is Bert and um, this has been our report from the La General Hospital. Back to you in the studio.